my channel this is a quick tutorial on emotion js a css library um so with the rise of js javascript front-end libraries and frameworks um you probably have heard of um html in javascript that is JSS. okay in recent years the communities have come together to um combine some basic um structure of a normal of building a website that is html css and JavaScript. and javascript you probably heard of um html in javascript that is when you, you if you are a react developer that's jss but you probably also heard of um um css in javascript css in js yeah i don't think the name should be css in js it should be cut down cjs something like that css in js is too long of a name yeah this tutorial is based on a, a css library which is called emotion the emotion js that's the main side as you can see I'm on the main side. So Emotion is a library designed for writing CSS styles with JavaScript. It provides a powerful, predictable style composition in addition to a great developer experience with features such as source maps, labels, and testing all, all that stuff. But this is just a quick tutorial. It will be this tutorial will be in a series. So after this, there will be a tutorial focusing on styled components with Emotion.js. So you can check it uh, at the end of the of this tutorial. Okay, thank you. So i'll quickly move back to a project a, a creator art project and move on okay okay yeah i, I already have a simple a, a simple project with creator art i have nothing else to show you here okay so i will then uh start the server uh, start my project so npm or yarn start anyone so yeah i'm using a yarn start here yarn start here okay now i'm starting my server okay 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 as you can see it's ready now it's ready almost here why is it keeping long probably my laptop okay wow okay sure it's yes i don't have anything in the project so i would then create a simple my mockup in the html mockup in the project so that we can start it and learn more about the emotion library so i'll move to the project then okay so okay i will just add a div okay div hello world okay another div uh, welcome to my channel to my channel channel don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel uh, another div um thank you okay let's save it and see okay thank you this is the outcome this is how it will look what i've done so we'll just try and learn about the emotion.js and style this mockup okay so with the emotion.js to install the emotion.js you just have to um 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 the, you all know how to install um javascript packages in with every in, uh, any other framework such as node or um view react all of them you just yes you can use npm or yarn so to install it you just have to uh the one way to install it is let me add a new shell so okay oh, everything is delaying here so uh, uh, okay yeah you can either use yarn add i am um, at emotion core emotion slash core yeah well I've probably installed it you can see from here i already have it at emotion core uh, you can also use N uh, npm install at emotion core i've probably installed it already so uh, to save time okay so we'll move on uh, we we'll move on to its syntax uh okay so i'll close the package.json package.json then we'll move on okay 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 the primary way to style elements with emotion is the css prop it provides a concise and flexible api to start your program okay there are two ways to get started with css prop that is the bubble preset and gss pragma the bubble preset doesn't work with create react app uh, this project is based on create react app maybe when you are building your project from start with parcel 
or um, uh, sparse or these bundlers uh, here you can use the bubble preset you can install it it doesn't really work with um um with emotions yeah so on your dog they even prefer you to use the gss pragma uh -huh. okay to use the gss pragma you first have to add a comment above your file let's say that uh, the file you want to use the emotion framework after installing it which is uh just like a comment okay star star okay okay thanks i don't know the yeah it's extension that is up for me thank you uh at jsx on uh, jsx okay okay also you also have to import the jss um css comma jss from emotion.js from emotion core uh at emotion core okay that's it that's all what you have to do then you are done importing your library in your in for this for okay so uh, let's see what is the project let's have a look at it let's start this one so to start this we just have to inside the hello world okay inside this div inside the first tag of the div so we just have to use we are using the um uh the prop with string style so css equals to then question it uses that string literal so css comma then your styles go here anything you want to happen with the to the hello world you can put it here it takes in the normal css styles don't not yeah not camel cases like the react to it the normal how you write your css style that's how you write everything okay let's um give it a background of red so background background red you see same way you you use the see background red it's already as you can see the star is showing here okay background red let's give it a um, color of white okay um color okay fff okay fff fff okay let's save it as you can see so everything is fine everything is working here this is a quick intro so let's also give this uh the second div a border a border color of blue or something like that so okay okay let's move okay it's, as you can see welcome the second div is contains welcome to my channel don't forget to like this video and subscribe yeah it's telling you don't forget don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel so oh okay sorry for so css equals to css okay so border okay um five pixel solid um red so, so i said blue right okay some people say it's border border property is a console.log of css maybe yeah maybe when you are working with css and your style is not showing you can just add a border some people to say background so and anything he likes as you can see so we are we just added a border welcome to my channel don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel okay let's also give it a um let's give the thank you yeah thank you uh, some small css css equals to css then okay background green okay oh maybe i yeah. okay i didn't spot the background one, so yeah that's it background green yeah okay let's add a color color white okay i'm probably using the name of the color so color white so this is a simple star this is a simple quick intro of the css what we did here was okay to use the css you just have to so we imported the css class from emotion core so css you are making use of this string literal yes six string literal so yeah equals to curly bracket this is just the syntax okay that's the simplest way the primary way to get started quickly get started with um emotion the j dot js okay so the next video will be on styled component with emotion js this emotion js is an alternative for styled component maybe you probably heard of styled component or glamour or something like that yeah so yeah the next video will be styled component with emotion that um, yeah with emotion just just a way to create react component that has already started attached to it okay thank you to be up there when you're watching this video you can click on it to watch it okay thank you
yeah don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel thank you